Science 4, Quarter 3, Week 5 Matatag Curriculum For the competency and objectives, the learners construct and label simple graphs of different speeds including stationary and uniform speeds, both fast and slow. Construct a simple distance versus time graph. Identify if an object is stationary or moving at a uniform speed using the line graph. Content describing motion using distance versus time graphs. How to construct and label a simple line graph. Integration Edukasyon sa Pagpapahalaga o ESP Patience and respect for others are very important because not everyone can do the same task at the same speed. For math, the skills learned in grade 2 math include measuring distance using a meter stick and measuring time using a stopwatch. Physical Education or PE Along with agility, balance, and coordination, speed is a concept that students need to understand to help them develop physical fitness. Movement and positioning concepts are necessary as well. Health and medicine. It is important to accurately measure the prescribed dosage of medicine to be effective and avoid overdosing. For day one, recite the definition of the word flash on the card. Distance, position, speed, motion, and travel time. Have you ever wondered how we can show whether a car is going faster or slower, even without watching it move? Imagine you're racing your friend on your bikes. How can you tell who's getting further ahead without constantly looking back? Today, we're going to learn a special trick to track how far something travels over time. This trick will let us create a picture called a graph that shows us exactly how fast and slow things are moving, even if we only see them at the beginning and end. Put a check mark if the given situation shows motion and cross mark if otherwise. Number one, a farmer is plowing in the field with the help of the carabao. Two, a boy is running near the finish line. Number three, a boy and a girl dancing together across the room. Number four, my hands as it writes from the left to the right of a paper. And number five, a cup on the table. Let's discuss about how to construct and label a simple line graph. Can you think of a time when you had to travel somewhere, how far was it, and how long did it take? Distance is the amount of space between two points, and time is the duration it takes to cover the distance. How can we represent the journey from home to school on paper? What information do we need? For storytelling that is good for 15 minutes, 
Imagine you're watching a race. Cars zip across the track, creating a blur of color and speed. But how do you truly know who's winning? What if we could capture the excitement of the race, not just in snapshots, but in a story of movement? That's exactly what line graphs do for motion. Think of each car in the race as a dot on a line. As time takes by, those dots trace their journeys across the graph, revealing secrets about their speed, distance, and even how they change pace. It's like painting a picture of the race with numbers, a language that unlocks the mysteries of motion. So, why are line graphs so important in understanding motion? You're right, they make the invisible visible. They tell stories of motion. For day two. A line graph is a unique type of graph that is commonly used in science. It is particularly useful for displaying trends and changes over a continuous interval or period. Before making our first line graph, let us first know its parts. We have the labels, the label for the y-axis, the label for the x-axis. We have also the line, the point, and the axis. Let's define these terms. Title, it describes the content or purpose of the graph. Axis, the line graph contains two axes, the x-axis, horizontal, and y-axis, the vertical. The x-axis typically represents the independent variable, example given, time, while the y-axis represents the dependent variable, example given, the distance. Labels, the name given to the x-axis and y-axis. Line, it is the line segment that is used to connect two or more data points. Data point. A data point represents a specific value or measurement for a given variable at a particular point in time. Our first line graph. Using the sample data below, make your first line graph. This data shows the speed of a car as it runs towards the north. Here are the given data. We have time in seconds and distance in meter. For time, we have 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. For distance, we have 0, 2, 4, 6, 8, and 10. How to draw line graphs. Number one, label the axis. Add labels to the x axis and y axis. You can also include the unit of measurement. Determine the variables. The first and foremost step to creating a line graph is to identify the variables you want to plot on the x axis and y axis. Choose appropriate scales. Based on your data, determine how many units each grid line or division represents. The x-axis and y-axis must have equal intervals based on your chosen scale. Plot the points. Plot the individual data points 
on the graph according to the given data. The time goes on the x-axis and the corresponding position goes on the y-axis. Connect the points. After plotting the points, you have to connect those points with a line. Add title. After completing the graph, you should provide a suitable title. Interpret the graph. Look for patterns such as constant speed or periods of rest. Consider the slope of the graph as it provides information about the speed of the object. And review and revise. What does the graph show us about the speed? You're right. The graph shows that the car is moving at a constant speed as the distance increases evenly over time. Interpreting Distance Time Graphs Here is a sample of a distance time graph. For the guide questions, what are some things you notice about the graph? What do the axes and the lines represent? What does it mean when the line goes up quickly? How about when it's flat? For day 3 Meet Turbo Turtle He's not your average turtle. Today is the Great Reef Race, and Turbo is determined to prove he's the fastest underwater swimmer in his class. He sets off from the starting line, zipping through the coral tunnels and seaweed forests. But watch out for Mr. Stingray who likes to zoom past and splash Turbo with his tail. Graph Turbo's data and describe his motion throughout the race. Here are the given data. We have time in minutes and distance in meter. Graph Turbo's data and describe his motion throughout the race. What does the graph show about Turbo's speed at the beginning? You're right. The graph shows that Turbo's speed is constant at the beginning, as he swims steadily and increases his distance by 5 meters each minute. What happens to the line at 3 minutes? You're right. At 3 minutes, the line drops because Turbo goes back to find his goggles after losing them. Number 3. Does Turbo ever catch up to his classmates? You're right, yes. Turbo catches up to his classmates after finding his goggles and continuing the race. What characteristics of the graph suggest a stationary object? Very good! The characteristics of the graph that suggest a stationary object are a flat, horizontal line indicating that there is no change in distance over time. This means the object is not moving. Who ran faster? James and John were walking to school when they decided to race against each other. Using the data below, make a line graph of both James and John's motion in one plot. Follow the steps in making a line graph and find out who ran faster between the two. Clue 
the line graph that is steeper than the other is the one that moves faster. Here are the given data. We have time in seconds and James' distance in meter and so as well with John's distance in meter. Here is a description of how to create a graph based on the provided data for James and John. Number one, prepare the graph. The x-axis will represent time in seconds, ranging from 0 to 8. The y-axis will represent distance in meters, ranging from 0 to 8. Plot the points for James' distance and John's distance. Connect the points. Draw a line connecting the points for James and a line connecting the points for John. Label the graph. Label the x-axis as time in seconds. Label the y-axis as distance in meter. Give the graph a title, James and John's Race to School. Use different colors or line styles to distinguish between James and John's data. For day 4, arrange the steps in making a simple line graph. Review and revise, determine the variables, add title, choose appropriate, label the axis, connect the points, plot the points, and interpret the graph. Here are the correct answers. For number one, label the axis. Two, determine the variables. C, choose appropriate skills. Four, plot the points. Five, connect the points. Six, add title. Seven, Interpret the graph. Choose appropriate. And eight, review and revise. For your assessment, examine the distance versus time graphs below and identify which among them is stationary, moving at a constant speed, or going back. For number one illustration, number two, and number three.